I will be reviewing the film Portrait of a Lady on Fire by Skiama. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, I was a little nervous when I noticed that the film was in French and I was going to have to pay attention to subtitles um, just because it's hard for me to focus on like what they're saying and the overall like cinema. Um, but I think this class has made me more comfortable with films um, using different languages than English. So overall, I really liked this film, even though it did make me tear up at the end when Marianne and Heloise, I apologize if I said that name wrong, um, had to go their separate ways and couldn't be together. Um, the ending was really sad, but it also shy well it also showed signs of hope in so many ways um for example when marion was looking at the painting of heloise like holding the book um it was on page number 28 i believe which was the same number that marion like drew a sketch of like in her book it was the same number which i picked up on which which was cute and then another example is when marion and um heloise were at the same orchestra and it just like i don't know it showed that there's like that invisible string theory and that they'll always be connected which i thought was sweet um a specific scene that i found interesting and was not expecting as all at all was the bonfire scene when heloise's dress lit on fire um i thought this scene was honestly beautiful i don't know how else to describe it it was beautiful genuinely because it almost looked like heloise was trapped and stuck and i was like why isn't she moving <laughs> i was very confused but then when i was really like focused in on the scene i was wondering if schema the director i'm apologize if i'm saying it wrong um was trying to portray how she doesn't want to marry this man and she wants to be with marion and she feels almost stuck that's how I took it. I don't know if that's correct, though, and I want to discuss that more in class. Uh, diving into a specific scene, there was this really cute scene between Marion and Heloise um, when they were pointing out little details about one another that they, like, do. Um, so we are going to watch that scene and then discuss it. If you're ému, you're like that with your hand. Really? Et quand vous êtes embarrassé, vous mordez vos lèvres. Et quand vous êtes agacé, vous ne sciez pas. Vous savez tout. Pardonnez-moi, je n'aimerais pas être à votre place. Mais nous sommes à la même place. Exactement à la même place. Venez ici. Venez. Approchez-vous. Regardez. Si vous me regardez, qui je regarde moi so i really enjoyed the scene i wanted to keep it going because they can um then heloise is like talking about marion and like the things she does and at the end they're like looking at each other and i remember watching it and i was like oh my gosh can they please kiss like i just wanted them to already um but i really liked this scene i thought it was really wholesome and it really brought out how close attention they pay to one another. Um, it highlights how this film is all female gaze um, and the representation of women and just their relationships with one another. Um, but overall, I thought this film was very empowering and feminist in the ways that it shows their love with um, all judgments and shame aside i would definitely watch this film again and recommend it and i can't wait to discuss it in class